Anyway, I had a lot of fun on this track way back in the day. And I was only 11 when I first got this game. This is actually the very first Crash Bandicoot game I ever got. It's just an amazing game. It's quite possibly my favourite racing game of all time, and one of my favourite uh, PS1 games. Along with uh, Team Buddies. Yep, Team Buddies and Bollocks. Which is an extremely rare game. Go look up Team Buddies right now. It's a great game. Extremely rare, extremely hard to get your hands on. Open wide. Thank you. Oh god. I hope that uh, temple mouth is a dental plant. And what with him uh, getting weapons and whatnot chucked at his mouth all the time. Let's hope he's a dental plant. Stop the bus. The temple mouth has a toothache. Six men must brush his teeth. What? I don't know. Oh God, God, God. No, 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 no. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, you. God damn you, Mr. Missile. Do you know how far that went up my ass? Not very far at all, actually. Why? It's a kid's game. I don't think, uh kids would be able to uh, stand the sight of... Uh... Right, let's not continue. <laughs> right, I really am removing your stripes later on, Potter. Ah, ah, ah. That was just evil. Don't care. Yeah, you said that earlier. Yeah, I know. I think I get the message. Yep. I was 11 when I first got this game. I used to play, like, <laughs> all the time after school with my friend. So me and him just loved it. We loved doing battle mode as well. What they should have added was the ability to play battle mode with computer-controlled characters. And um, have the human players team up against the AI. That would be amazing. I'm assuming Naughty Dog didn't put that in due to, like, probably, uh memory constraints or something. Or maybe the uh, difficulty of uh, of having AI drivers driving around the battle arenas, arenas and whatnot. That might have been it. But I don't know, I'm not a member of Naughty Dog. Go to Papu's Pyramid. Yep, Papu Papu's track. This, is, this track is quite annoying. At the same time, it's very fun. Now, I'm... Um, oh, shit. My laptop's getting a bit hot. I'm going to uh, stop recording in a minute. Give the computer a bit of uh, room to breathe. Now, I've seen uh, people doing it on YouTube videos, but only with Pen a Penguin, of course. There's a massive shortcut in this track, and it involves uh, going up on a wall near the end of the track. I think it's only possible with uh, Pen a Penguin. But in... Uh, apparently, on the American version of the game, Pen a Penguin's stats are normal, whereas on the European version, as in this version, the version you're watching right now, all of Pen a Penguin's stats are maxed out. I don't know why that is. It changed quite a lot. I wouldn't say a lot, but that's like a very big difference in my opinion. Pen of Penguin stats being maxed out on this version. Not very fair, Naughty Dog. Not very fair on our American friends. And you're from America. Ah. I'm full of shit again. I'm gonna see if I can attempt this shortcut. I'm not promising you anything. Well, I 
I'm not much of a gambler, but I risked it, and I nailed it. Can we do it again? Hopefully I'll get a mask to help me out. Oh! Now that was clumsy now, wasn't it? Not today, plant. Breakfast is cancelled. Just like your friends in uh, the first crash game. No. Upstream, anyone? Up the creek, anyone? Yeah, I'll be shoving these potions up someone else's shit's creek in a minute. If they dare fuck with me in my attempt to get a trophy. Next up is Dingo Canyon, which is uh, Dingo Dial's track. Decided that uh, what we're going to do in this playthrough is go for all the trophies first, and all the boss keys. And then, once we've beaten Oxide for the first time, we will go back and get all the CTR tokens and relics and gems. And then, to get around a tight turn, or to face a direction quickly, press and hold the square button while turning hard. I've played this game so many times to have memorised what he says. Can you tell? Like I said, I know this game like the back of my hand. There are a few things I don't know. Or a few things I've forgotten, should I say. I'm sure I'll pick up on them eventually. Such as uh, how to squash other players when you've got a uh, turbo boost powered up. Oh, quickly. Nah. Too busy looking at your laptop again. Just ignore it. I know it's uh, getting a bit hot, but... Ah! What is that thing, anyway? It's like a, f a fish or something, though. No idea. Gonna... Someone on a walkthrough somewhere told me what it is. But I've gone and forgotten exactly. They look like fish to me. Or they might be like armadillos or something. Oh, unlucky. You should be ashamed of yourself, Dingo. Losing on your own track. Ah. That is one big kitty cat. Yeah, tiny tiger. That's like uh, George and Lenny from uh, Of Mice and Men. Well, I'm assuming that's where, the, where that originated. I don't care about your stupid bandicoot power. Big brother power, more like. Ah! I hope my little brother's not watching this. He might get a little uh, mad if he hears me sing Big Brother Power. Whoa! I was about to say, is that bomb not going to hit anybody? And then I heard the satisfying sound of two characters getting hit right in the kisser by them. Pow, right in the kisser. Yeah, try explaining that to the doctor. How'd you lose your face then, Dingo? In Cortex? Uh, I was attempting plastic surgery on myself. And needless to say, they got sent to a mental hospital straight afterwards. Wow. A nitro crate got blown up by a fish. Now I've seen everything. Alright. Second boss battle is imminent. Enter. Papu much tired of watching puny slugs race so slow. Papu want in action to lay boom down big and prove Papu is world's best driver. Papu moves so fast, you munch tracks. Put a bloody shirt on for God's sake. God, you can tell that Naughty Dog love to animate jiggling fat. They didn't forget that they did that to uh, Papu in Crash 1, obviously. And this is Papu's only appearance since uh, Crash 1. And he also appears in a boss in uh, Crash Bash. And then... I think his next appearance is... Uh, it's a cameo appearance in uh, Twin Sanity. <laughs> I love his pain sound. Apparently, uh, Papi Papi's voice actor was, um, was one of the uh, sound guys at Naughty Dog. I forget his name. 
must be so fun to be a voice actor. Hire me, please. Well, I think I need to get a better mic for that. Though. This is just a headset. Oh, oh. What's so funny? Yeah, what's so funny, Crash? I don't believe telling any jokes. I accept one joke. How do you annoy Lady Gaga? Poker face. Oh, oh. I think Crash can only sing woe because... Oh. Now he's singing woe because I made a complete ass of that. Oh, and that. If I lose this bloody boss battle, there's going to be hell to pay. Now, who here knows how to fire a missile backwards? Well, I'm sure if you're a crash veteran, you'll know how to. It's not done by pressing down and fire at the same time. Nope. It is, in fact, done by looking behind and firing. Interesting, isn't it? discovered that myself. I saw the AI doing it, and I'm like, how the fuck do you do that? So, as if it was a big fluke, I decided to look behind one day, well, when I had a missile in my inventory, I pulled the trigger, and I'll let you figure out what happened next. I'm not going to risk that shortcut. Not today, Crash, I'm sorry. Or you might crash and burn. Another boss bites the dust. Next up is Glacier Park, where we confront Komodo Joe after we've done four more tracks. Uh, Cheer up. Papu not himself today. Maybe Papu not eating a big breakfast. You are fast for be so small. Here is key to help. Oxide much bigger problem for you. Him not as big, but him much more grumpy. Oh well, you tell him that you shouldn't get up out of the wrong side of bed in the morning. Yeah. Simple solution. And you didn't eat a big enough breakfast. <laughs> You're not fat enough. For God's sake. Oh god, it's bloody freezing. First up, Blizzard Bluff. Uh, laptop's getting quite hot. I'm going to see if I can shift it around to give it some air. Hold on. As long as it doesn't come crashing to the floor, I'll be happy. Yeah, that might make it a bit cooler. And again, I am uh, captioning video footage. I assume it probably make the processor quite hot. You think about it. Anyway, who cares about hot? Let's just think about cold. Look at all this wonderful snow. No. I don't like snow. I can't stand being cold. Let's do think about being warm. And I think it was this track where I learned the hard way. If you place a nitro where a piece of wampum fruit used to be, it'll explode and take you with it. Yeah, I can't stand being cold, like I said earlier on. I mean, Scotland's weather is uh, rather poor at times. Winters can be a bit harsh. I don't remember last one was particularly bad. The only reason I really hate being cold is because I've got a condition known as Raynaud's. And my fingers and toes turn white and go numb and sore. And I remember last year, my fingers were so sore from the cold that it felt like someone had chopped them off. I'm not kidding, they really were that sore. It felt like they'd been severed. Oh! I wasn't sure if that was a wump of fruit or a... found out the hard way that it was indeed a red potion. That was my own TNT. And the only reason I know it was my own TNT 
is because if it was anybody else's TNT, it would have blown up by now. Because, like I said earlier on, all the AI racers always follow the same path. Change it up a little, guys. Come on. Next up is either Polar Pass or Dragon Mines. But I think we'll go for Dragon Mines, I assume. That's another annoying track, Dragon Mines. It's only because of that stupid, annoying, bloody minecart. Yep, it is indeed Dragon Mines. Polar Pass is next, and then, oh no. I think my least favourite track in the game is uh, Tiny Arena. Simply because it's so bloody long and boring. Then again, I'm sure all video games have at least one level or one track that you don't like. It just wouldn't be a video game without at least one annoying level or map, now would it? I don't agree with the music in this level, by the way. Seems a bit naff, in my opinion. That is one dodgy harmonica. Not today, Mr. Minecart. I'm a bandicoot, and I showed a main a bandicoot. Under no circumstances am I being turned into a pancake. Bollocks! Yes, I am. I saw that coming a mile away. Go away, bad kitty. No, tiny, no. I'm referencing uh, that indie, Xbox indie game about a cat called Luca. No, Luca, no. In which the sole objective is to stop your cat from eating your cereal. I might do a LOL LP of that at some point. See how it goes. I do like making LOL LPs, even though at the time of this video I've only made a very small number of them. I can't remember if one of the CTR layers in the CTR challenges on that gravel. Probably is known my luck. I think the most annoying letter to get in the CTR challenges is probably one of the letters that's um, up a ramp. Or up a jump, whatever you want to call it. In a uh, hot air skyway. It's near the start where you have to uh, choose to go left or right. And it's uh, the letters to the right. And that is such a bitch of a letter to get. It really is. Apologies for my foul mouth. But there's no words, no other words to describe how annoying it is to collect. You try collecting it. I'm sure all CTR fans have. Or at least tried. Are you calling all CTR veterans crap? I should bloody hope not. 